achieve or make believe. Are okay. you ready? Jake Peavy's first career strikeout was against Derek Jeter. Peeve or make believe? No, that's Peeve. I've heard him tell that story before. Okay. Yep. You remember where it was? 2002? Absolutely. Qualcomm Stadium. Qualcomm Stadium. Stadium. It made me feel first like I'm a leaf. You yeah. strike Derek Jeter out, you feel like, oh my gosh, you're yeah. wrong. You see, slider. I, I, I threw him slider after awesome. slider after slider. And then look, when in doubt, throwing slider for the rest of the day. Um, Stick with it, right? Have the rest of the start. I belong. The rest of the start is good. I give up three hits, give up a run. Um, it was good. Yeah, Giambi got a hit after that, scored the run. Alfonso Soriano was on second base. He doubled to lead off the game. You have a perfect picture in your mind of that game because of that first strikeout, right? You remember everything about it. Jake Peavy led the National League in ERA when he was 23 years old. Peeve or make believe? I'm going to say that's Peeve. That was when he won the Cy Young with the Padres. Yes, 166 and a he did third win the Cy Young. 13 home runs allowed. 2004, I guess. Uh, 2004, he did it. 2004. Yeah. He won the Cy Young. strikeouts. Osai 07, but 07. 04, I believe I led the league in, it's his in, in the ERA. Mm, a 227 ERA. 227 ERA. Woo, excuse me, Jake 20... Peavy. Oh, okay. Hit seven career home runs. This is tough. Your smirk kind of says it all. I, Peeve or I don't. Play? I don't think, I think he's, a, he's an okay hitter, but seven sounds high. I'm going to say it's low. It's high, you're right. Yeah, make Three home runs. runs. Yeah, you remember when they were? I hit four wrong? home runs. For the record, spring training counts uh, two, <laughs> and I hit a spring training homer, and it's in my stat book. I know what I got on my sheet. <laughs> 2006, two in 2006, by the way, one in 2015. One was off Brad Penny. I told, <laughs> Brad Penny. I told you guys earlier, Brad me and Brad Penny are great friends. I love Brad Good. Penny. Uh, Jake Peavy has the most strikeouts ever by an Alabama, Alabama born. Well, I'll say that five times. Uh, that's okay. Alabama. <laughs> I'll get there. It's Friday. Born pitcher. Uh, that's interesting. Baseball history, I feel like there's a lot of guys who have been from the South, Alabama, but most strike. He, he, I'm going to say Peavy. No, make believe. Uh, Third. So who was it? Behind. Sutton. It's Don big. Sutton, Sutton. an early win. Yeah. Early win, yeah. wow. Okay. Jake Peavy Don purchased. Sutton, incredible role model, mentor. Yeah, Don Sutton, awesome. That's yeah. awesome. nice. Jake Peavy purchased the duck boat he rode <laughs> the Red Sox World Series. <laughs> That's what some people do. I'll say Peavy. Uh, absolutely. When I when I knew he was coming yeah. here, I thought two things. I remember. <laughs> Look at all the family. Look at all the family. Like you guys know how big my family is. Exactly. I'm, I'm a family guy. I'm getting on. There it is, going south. I thought he's dominant and he rode a duck boat, so he's going to be fun. <laughs> when I found out he was hired here at MLB Network, the two Good things line. I thought about. Uh, he was the first pitcher to win a Cy Young with Bruce Bochy as a manager, peeve or make believe. That's got to be a peeve. No, the timing doesn't add up, right? You won Cy Young, you said in 2000. Oh, it broke my heart. Seven. seven. Buddy Black was our first, Buddy wait, Black. Was first year of Buddy Black. I <laughs> didn't get right. to do it with Boach. And Boach uh, left in 2006. Oh, that's a good make believe. Love Buddy Black, though. Yeah. Who was the first to do it? Tim Linscombe. First to do it, 2008. Yeah, that's right. The next year. Look, Very I couldn't year. win it anymore because Linscombe won it back to back years. <laughs> this guy, the freak, was, was no joke. Yeah. Jake Peavy once wore his gold glove in a game that he was pitching in. Peaver make believe. This sounds like something he would do. Yeah, Peavy. Okay, She's do you know cool. where? With the Savannah Bananas. Yeah, I was about to say, it didn't feel like it'd be an major league game. He couldn't do that. But this, yeah, the, he loves the bananas. Peavy's all into these guys. Well, I figured I was going to need the gold glove when you're firing it in there about 80. Two. Well, no. This is a couple <laughs> months ago, right? You gotta let him know, <laughs> Look, I can tell you this. The Savannah Band has got big plans for 2024. I'll be there, gold Wait, glove and all. You can't get a ticket. I tried to get tickets for my friends. Yeah. You cannot. It is so expensive. It is sold Give me a out. price. Should I ride the duck boat back into Fenway Park when they play in Fenway? $150, <laughs> but if you're getting six no, tickets. No, 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 no. The wow. tickets are $30 a piece. I, it, I, it was on the secondary market. Right, 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 right. That's how the demand is. Yeah. yeah. But it's That's 30 bucks. The crazy demand. demand. Is unbelievable. Oh, there, there's nothing more fun than seeing people get excited about baseball. I know. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Jake Peavy allowed Barry Bonds' 700th career home run. Peavy or make believe? Look, he's a poker face. He's not really. Yeah, I think that's make believe. I don't think he did that. I, I feel like I would have known that. You're wrong. I did it. You yeah. Did it yeah. Barry Bonds hit a few off of me in 700. Yeah, right here. Breaking ball away. Wow. The thing I liked about it was he at least couldn't. I was just trying to steal a strike, flip a breaking ball. At least like, he didn't. He didn't hit a moonshot and didn't get to pimp it. Yeah, you know, say, he didn't crush it. It was horrible. He was 8 for 33 against you. A oh, one pitch lead off the bottom of the third. 2004 was the year. You take uh, it all day. Goodness. Jake Peavy was the captain of Team USA in the 2006 World Baseball Classic. I'm going to say Peavy. Yes, the very first one, yes? Yeah. Yes, but I, you know, I, I would argue Derek Jeter was our captain. I, I, I got a chance that uh, we still want some some memories. Yeah, there we're with the formal Clemens and, and and Jeter. Yeah, that's oh, pretty that was, cool. Mm, it's grown so much since then. Jake Peavy has a tattoo on his forearm with the word "insider." 
He definitely has tattoos. I don't know if he has an insider. I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen him shirt. Uh, <laughs> I've seen John, I know this biblical verse, insider. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's a oh, big outsider. belief. It's outsider. Yeah. We're on the outside. On the outside, yeah, like, there's inside. way more to see. Yeah, inside. I go, free to be That sounds like a J.P. Morosi tattoo. I'm an outsider. Look, that, that, what? That, 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 what that, sounds like a J.P. Morosi tattoo? That, that's nothing. Morosi tattoo, <laughs> insider. Nothing that's something. what I do for a living. If, Jake, if J.P. Morosi has a tattoo, I will be shocked. Jake Peavy has a twin sister named Jennifer. Peavy, make believe. I met his brother. He has a big family. I mean, that's very specific, so I'll say P. It's very specific, and it's no. make believe. Yeah. That's not on the back. It's make believe. Yeah. 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 I've never heard of that shit. No, that's a great edit. Big uh, PV owned a motorcycle nicknamed Bessie. Who came up with these? They're very yeah, creative. I'm going to say make believe on this. That's make believe. I got a yeah. dog named Bessie. Yeah, there you go. That's a good one. All right, I got that. He once jammed at Willie Nelson's home studio. That's got to be P. Got to be P. 100%. I, look, I wish I jammed it at Willie Nelson's <laughs> home no, studio. No. Uh, you know what? I played a concert with him. I played with <laughs> him on concert, stage. Not the home studio. Look, one of the highlights of my life is Willie saying, hey, in about 45 minutes, we're going to go into gospel melody. Come on out. And I said, Willie, I, 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 I love you for saying that, but I can't come out and sing with you. I've got a band and stuff and yeah. th that, that is lifelong musicians, and, and I, I can't even take that honor. He goes, bring them all out. Me and the band went out on stage with what Willie Nelson. His, his tour manager, John Selman, Clay Buckholtz, brother-in-law, yeah, yeah. that whole family. <laughs> Look, Bruce Bochy was hanging out. I, I met him through Tim Flannery, Bruce Bochy, met Willie Nelson, Waylon Jennings. They were hanging out with the real That's Cowboys amazing. back in the day. And we were talking before the show about you've seen the most movies of anyone, and Jake Peavy and I have combined have seen 10, <laughs> maybe. I've seen two. Yeah, Avita. And the League of Their Own, you remember? <laughs> I remember oh, I've seen Wedding Crashers. <laughs> Wedding Crashers in the Three. mix, too. Yeah. Uh, so Jake Peavy has seen Armageddon more than any other movie is where we will end. Peaver made. I've never heard him talk movies. It's always music. So because it's so specific, it's an action movie. It's around that era. I'm gonna say Peep. <sighs> You're That's terrible. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. yeah. Yeah. Like, I love the comedic relief in there. <laughs> ben um, Affleck, right? No. Yeah, Ben Affleck. There's some drama in there, but look, I, I really love the cast of characters that, that has to go save the world. It reminds me, it's my kind of team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. O'Malley and Graphics came up with this game, of course. This is Most a good game. Creative guy. I'm so glad I got the motorcycle named Bessie. I go, there's no it, way. And you guys are easy on me. Yeah, okay. I appreciate you being easy on me.